In the previous episode, we learned the concept of the connotations of words and how to use connotations to do an addition or a contrast. Understanding the connotation is very helpful when you have to guess the meaning of a word. For example, even if you don't know the meaning of a gullible, you can tell that it has a negative meaning if it is used in this sentence. He is handsome, but gullible. Today, we'll learn how to use transitional words of addition as the clues to answer TOEFL sentence insertion questions. From the connotation video, you know that you should use a transitional word of addition. When the subsequent idea continues the same connotations, that is, both negative or positive. These are examples of transitional words of addition and their use. These are example transitional words for addition. In addition, additionally, again, also, and, besides, by the same token, Equally important, furthermore, for example, for instance, in the same way, in like manner, in similar fashion, in other words, likewise, moreover, similarly, specifically, that is, i.e., to put it another way. These are example sentences with addition. He was cold and tired. Furthermore, he was hungry. This house is on the best street in the neighborhood. Moreover, it has easy access to the freeway. If you give up exercise, your muscles shrink and fat increases. By the same token, if you exercise, you will lose fat. By the same token means following the same line of reasoning. Now that we know how to use transitional words of addition, let's consider the following four questions that have transitional words of addition in the target sentences. Target sentence. Similarly, anger at a person is an experience of offensiveness insofar as it consists in an experience of one's body being prepared to retaliate. Analysis. The target sentence defines anger in terms of certain bodily experience. Similarly, in the target sentence indicates that the sentence before the target sentence talks about some other emotion in terms of bodily experience. So we need to look for a sentence that talks about some emotion in terms of bodily experience. A raises a question. How can we distinguish an emotional attitude from other attitudes like a judgment or perception? B provides an answer by Diana and Taroni to the question. Neither A nor B talks about what we are looking for. C provides an example for B. A definition of fear in terms of certain bodily experience. The target sentence provides another example. A definition of anger in terms of certain bodily experience. So C is what we are looking for. Answer. D. Target sentence. Furthermore, the theory lacks an adequate account of the differences between emotions. The target sentence says that the theory cannot explain the differences between emotions. Furthermore, in the target sentence implies that the problem of the theory in the target sentence is an additional problem. So the target sentence should come after a problem of the theory. A makes a general statement that James's theory is unsuccessful. It does not state any specific problem. B talks about one problem of the theory. So B is a good candidate for the target sentence. To make sure this is the correct spot, let's look at C. C talks about another problem of the theory. So C is also a candidate. To decide between B and C, 
we need to examine the relationship between the target sentence and C. Clearly, the target sentence is a general statement, but C is specific as exemplified by fear and anger. This objection refers to what is stated in the target sentence. So it should come after B. Answer, C. Target sentence. The emotions of rage and fear, for instance, both include a rapid heartbeat, perspiration, and increased energy supplied to the muscles. The target sentence says that two different emotions, rage and fear, share the same physical characteristics. And it has, for instance, as the transitional phrase. So the target sentence should come after a general statement that talks about different emotions sharing the same physical properties. A makes a general statement, stating that physical changes caused by emotions cannot help people distinguish one emotion from another emotion. The target sentence is an example of different emotions having the same physical changes. So after A is the best option. B and C are cohesive. Target sentence. Also represented are cattle and bison, each representing 4-5% to 5 of the images. The target sentence talks about the types and the numbers of represented animal images. Also in the target sentence indicates that it continues what is mentioned in the previous sentence. That is, the sentence before the target sentence must be talking about the types and numbers of represented animal images. A makes a general statement that 605 animal images have been precisely identified. B talks about the types and the numbers of the most represented animal images. C also talks about the types and the numbers of represented animal images. So the target sentence should come either after B or after C. Now, when we examine B, C, and the target sentence, we can see that the ordering must be from the largest to the smallest number of representations. B has the largest and C has the smallest. Smattering equals a small amount. So the target sentence should come before C. Answer, C.